Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for more Dark Souls 3 Remastered with your host, Madman. And today, we are at the entrance to the Grand Archives, but you might notice something is somewhat amiss. The doors are already open, because we got the key, because it was on his body, and I'm an idiot. So, we did the Grand Archives, went through the whole place, got all the items in there, and we got all the shortcuts to the roof. Uh, I went up to the roof for those golden winged guys are, which are apparently a really popular soul farming spot, but holy crap, unless you're very specifically built for farming there, they are a pain in the ass. I didn't even kill them, I just ran past them and grabbed the dex ring, which we might use to try out some weapons. It's kind of a nice, um, nice little thing to have in the bank, so to speak. But I have not gone across this bridge yet. I have a feeling there's going to be some artillery or something, some kind of fuckery. But maybe not, maybe it's just these guys. They remind me of my time on the high wall of Lothric. Brings back memories of oh, a few days ago when I was in that area. Such innocent times destroyed by the passage of the ages. Alright, let's kill you. Man, there are a lot of these guys. Holy shit. It's like Trash Mob City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come at me, guys. Come on. You come to me. I'm not going to put the effort in. Come on. One at a time would be preferable, but, you know. These assholes are going to complicate everything. Oh, great. He's buffing his sword. Awesome. So if you time your attacks right, usually you don't even have to block or parry most of these uh, these regular enemies. But uh, it does help to be able to tank a few hits. Okay. Alright, da 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 dee, ba da dee boo. Taking out the trash. They call me the trash man because I kill trash mobs. I also eat garbage. All right, let's see who we have up here. If I'm not mistaken, this is another boss, or if not, it's the entrance to an area containing one. And these guys are going to complicate things even further, aren't they? All right, let's see if we can get them one at a time here. Come on, just one of you at a time would be good. Thank you. Oh, we like this. We liked that one at a time. We like it when he tries to buff his sword because it opens him up to an attack. And then we kill him just like that. He gives us an ember. That guy's going to buff himself. I don't like that. Let's bait him to attack. There he goes. And we poorly timed that, but it doesn't matter. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him! Fuck, okay. Really wish you could get this blue armor these guys wear. It's so much more interesting and cool looking than the fucking red Lothric Knight armor. In my opinion, the blue is aesthetically superior. And speaking of drops you can't get, I was really pissed. I was at Archdragon Peak, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to get the axe that the, the big serpent men have. So I farmed there for a while, and they do drop other shit like Titanite chunks and, uh, and large pieces. So I was like, okay, you know, even if we don't get the axe, we'll get some useful stuff. It turns out you can't get that axe, or if you can, it doesn't drop from them. So I was really pissed off. And I'm not talking about the chain axe, I'm just talking about the regular, dumb, stupid, big, heavy, great axe. Uh, that's what I was uh, hoping to get, and... Uh, My hopes were dashed upon the rocks of the shores of pain. Okay, this is definitely giving me boss vibes, this whole area here. Are we embered up? We are, okay. What's this person saying cleverly here about the candles? Ah, good luck. Okay, this is the double prince fight, isn't it? Be wary of duo, oh shit. Oh, poopy. Okay, so 
I prepared for this, sort of. Uh, we have our... Our Carthus Rouge to make our lips nice and red for the sexy prince. And uh, we have... Um, is this an actual person? Holy shit, it is. Oh my god. Unless the developers named an NPC Spiritus Aqua, uh, this is a real, real guy. A real human being. Come on. Almost there. I just gotta get him out of there. Can we summon somebody else? Okay, that person has evaporated from history. Baby Jor 4. Alright, let's summon Baby Jor 4. Okay, uh, lost at that time. Just. I'm getting blue balls here, guys. Alright, come on. Who Is anybody actually here? Or am I just being fucking trolled here? Oh, wait, we got somebody else. Third time's a charm. Spiritus Aqua. I, I'm getting chafed. I'm, I'm getting chafed here. I can't. Is he? Is it gonna summon or not? If not, I'm just gonna stop. I, I'll try to summon tomorrow. Oh, for fuck's sake! Seriously. Fucking Christ, man! Time out? Are you kidding? I, I wasn't having this issue before. Of course, it starts. The game starts becoming garbage the minute I turn my recording software on. I mean, my recording software is also garbage. The frame rate sucks, but. Let's try one more time for, for Dijon Mustard, Dijon Mustard or whatever. All right. Fuck it. We're going to go in alone. These guys are obviously not online. Yeah, trap ahead. Oh, I just fu That is so fucking inc inconsiderate, man. Like, leaving your game off or whatever. I don't know what's going on with those people. Okay. Ooh, I should have purchased some weed before this fight, but we don't have any, so... We'll put on our... Rouge on our lips, and then give this a shot. That's my voice. You can't steal it. I'll purloin your cinder. Spoiled brat. Well, you're sure acting like one and sitting in a palace. If you're not interested in being a lord, why don't you go down and help the poor people in the sewer, you fucking hypocrite? I mean, I kind of agree with that. See, here's the thing. I'm married. I'm a married man, so I got my woman to think about. I got her presence in my life to motivate me. And uh, also, you know, in general, I just don't like you. So uh, doing what you say or what you want doesn't really appeal to me. You can teleport around all you like. And again, you're acting kind of like a lord here, having this golem guy do your bidding for you. Kind of a cuck move, my friend. Although I must say he has a very strong fiery sword attack. I will say that. Yes, I do agree that attack is strong. Although the teleporting is kind of starting to piss me off. And the sword attack. Both are pissing me off at this point. It's safe to say that. Whoa! Yeah, again, these guys have like a thing against pillars or something. Let's give me another one of those fights where moving around drains my stamina, and then I can't fucking fight the boss because I've moved around too much. I guess he moves really slow once he's teleported. That's like the thing. Just teleport again, man, and then I'll hit you once you reappear. Do you want me to come closer so you can do that? Okay, cool. All right. Oh, ow. You're a dick. Having your big brother kill your bullies for you? Um, kind of cringe, bro. Holy shit! Okay, never mind. I take it back. It's not cringe. It's great. You're very cool. You're the coolest kid in school. God fucking damn it. That attack is, uh... Something. Okay. Hit him in the shin. Take it on the chin. That's my new motto. Alright, now he fucking carries him on his back. I think. Bruh. 
We could have just made love, not war. Your fingers are kind of creepy, but if you put on gloves, I, I, I think I could deal with it. Again, we could have made a different arrangement. I could be your unyielding sword, if you know what I mean. Again, fingers, kind of creepy, but uh, we can make it work. I got some rouge for your lips. I got one left. Uh-oh. Phase two. Wearing your little brother as a necklace, uh, is that, uh, how you guys always do things? It's kind of abusive. Kind of objectifying, if you know what I mean. Okay, holy shit, I don't remember what any of this is or what they do. So we are just gonna go ahead and roll over here and heal. And, uh, kind of watch them for a sec, because I would rather not do this a million times. Okay, what are they doing here? That He's got a magic attack, but the pillars will block it. That's useful information. Shit! Okay, they still do the teleporting thing. They have separate health bars. That is weird. Okay, dude, kind of pointless to teleport if you teleport two feet in front of you. Oh, shit! We just got the fucking yeet attack! Hell yeah, bruh! You seem kind of weak, bro. Do you have enough protein in your diet? Okay, that kind of hurt. Not gonna lie. Alright, what is your new thing? Does he just revive his brother f infinitely? Oh no, it's not one of these fucking fights, is it? Where I have to attack him specifically? Oh, fuck off with that shit. I hate this kind of shit. God damn it. So he doesn't die until his little brother dies. That's the play. But if we kill the guy, we get a free hit on the brother, I guess, because he revives him. Okay, let's try that. Okay, all right, full stamina. Come on, three, you dick. Don't, yes! Did we get him? Is he still alive? I may be accursed, but at least I'm not dead. Well, come. <clears throat> we really need to get the, well, what is it gesture, because that just did not feel right. That is not the giant dad way. That is the giant dad gay. Why are you gay? Okay. Well, first try. Very epic. There's their, uh... Hot Wings bone pile here, I guess. Um, really should get a maid in here to clean that up. I know those are supposed to be feathers or something, but... What were these guys having, like, gay incest pillow fights for millennia? What the fuck were they doing that there are feathers all over the place in here? Or is this just birds? Okay, there's apparently birds nesting and shitting above them. Maybe that's the case, and they were having gay incest pillow fights at the same time. I mean, that's the only explanation for all these feathers. That's a lot of feathers, man. I'm just saying it's a lot of feathers. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> there should have been a maid in every one of these chairs for the fucking cleaning crew. Okay, I don't think we can climb up to their bedchamber, and I really don't want to, because I really don't want to see what's up there. Uh, so, now that we've killed them, we have, I think, all four of the Lord Souls. So, that means something. Um, I think now we can... Oh boy, because there's two DLCs. There's the Wintry DLC, and there's the Ringed City. And I don't exactly know how those get triggered. Unsurprisingly, to most of you, I haven't looked that up. All I do is smash candles. Okay, oh shit, those guys have respawned, that's fun. 
Is there really nothing in here? El no secret chests or fun shit? Okay, I guess not. Alright, so I guess we'll go back to Fire Stink. And... Place that soul... Place that soul in the hole. Oh yes, the knight armor. That's definitely an item in the game. Okay, let's place this and we'll see if we get an epic cutscene or something here. Oh wait, that's the... Ah, uh, sir, that's actually the, uh... The other soul for the other boss. Shut up, Smithers. This bit isn't funny at all. Oh, sorry, sir. Alright, let's see here. Can we place this? Do we... Is this even a... A, sor a soul that we need to place? What the hell's going on? Am I fucking high? Now invade and pillage. Mm, I'll pillage your fucking ass, dude. That's another insult that sounded better in my head before I said it. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what we can do with this soul. Let's see what the transposition options are. And then we'll see what our boss options are. Because I'm pretty sure... Um... I guess the, the only thing to do now is to bang our head against the wall in the DLC boss room. That's like the only thing we can really do. Ooh, what could this be? Lorian's Greatsword. Ooh, fire damage. Yes, please, I will take that. Another reason to farm souls for upgrade mats. Let's take a look at this thing. This is a pure dex weapon. Ooh, spicy. Okay. Okay, all right. Ooh, it's... Oh, it's one of the... I don't like the thrust move. It always seems to miss uh, mobs. I really don't like that. What about the weapon art? Okay, it's flaming. Woo! New flaming hot Cheetos. They're fucking hot. <laughs> You'll feel it in your ass nerves for sure. Okay, let's take that off. <clears throat> and put back on our epic mace. So, I guess now... Uh, all we have to do is bang our head against the DLC boss, as I said before. Do we want to level up? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I wouldn't mind wearing some different armor at some point, but we're going to need like 10 levels for that to be doable. So let's just, uh... Actually, let's uh, buy some upgrade mats for this thing. We'll do that. And then once we've done that, we'll go back to the DLC zone. We'll try the, ne uh, the other boss a few more times. See if we can beat her with some help. Uh, if not, then I may take uh, one of you up on your offer for help. Uh, and by one of you, I mean the only single person who has offered, which again, thank you for that. I do appreciate that. Uh, all right, Titanite Scales. I don't think we're using those for anything else, are we? No, we are not. Let's fucking dump them into this. Okay, we just need eight more. That'll use up most of our souls. I, can't, I don't think we can even afford eight. No, we can't. We can afford five. Cool. Now we don't have any souls to lose, and a man with nothing to lose is a bigger threat than one with something to lose. I mean, technically I'm married in this game, but I guess my wife is, uh, undead or dead or re-dead or whatever the fuck you would classify that state of being as. So maybe I do have nothing to lose. Maybe I am a man with nothing to lose. Maybe I am dangerous. Maybe I'm a devil-may-care, leather-wearing, grease-haired rebel with a motorcycle and a sleeping bag and ten or fifteen girls. If anyone knows what that's from, you need to get outside and touch grass more. Okay. To the DLC, straight away. No more farting around. Let's just get over there. Mmm, the young dragon ring. Nothing like a young dragon's ring to keep you warm at night, if you know what I mean. It's like, yes, it's very clear. Uh, I think it's very clear what we meant there. Alright, we are still embered. Is there anyone here to help us? We've leveled up since the last time we tried this. We've chatted up a bit. We also do have some, um, well, you know what, actually, despite the frost and other bullshit, I think maybe that's the best thing, is just having the physical damage resist. There was a guy here! Oh, shit, yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. We'll be summoned later to some location. Okay, cool, thanks, Minion Night Gale. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is attempt whatever for, for this boss. Attempt three or four or six or something. Okay, Sister Freed, yes, you are very epic, my dear. Okay, we're doing a bit more damage than we did before. That's noticeable for sure. Which will probably help, because really, the this fight just fatigues me. Like, the dodging really fucks with me, because it's, it's just constant. She moves constantly. And it just becomes this, like, complete bullshit. Where half the fight, you're wasting your stamina just moving around. Don't test me, bitch! Help! <laughs> Yeet. I know, we'll roll in random directions to confuse her. The AI won't be able to keep up. Oh shit, there she is. Suck my balls, my dear. This is what liberalism has done to the US. It's turned into this place. A wasteland with extremely fast women and totally cucked, depressed men. And we're here to correct it. Oh shit. See, this is what I'm talking about. Feminism's completely out of control. There we are. Nothing like a good smack to the face. The power balance has been corrected. Or the imbalance, rather. Sorry, I'm a few scotches in right now. And I'm still pissed about that slave Peter killed. Huh. Seems she's having a period. Disgusting. That's what happens when you don't have a good, strong father figure in your life. Okay, we've seen this cutscene before. Let's just skip this. Okay, now we have some help. Now, I'm not sure if it's better to kill her first or him. I don't know if it matters, but... Our friend is attacking her, so I'm more inclined to focus on the same person so we can get her killed more quickly. Or no, they have a shared health bar, don't they? Sorry, gents, I'm rather used to shared he uh, to separate health bars, given that we just fought the two gay princes. Man, he stuns so easily, man. That is kind of nice. <laughs> nice to get a fucking break. Woo! Oh shit, Frostbite. Don't like that. You get a heavy attack. BAM! Suck a dick, son! Okay, we have 11 Estuses for Phase 3, and this guy's not dead, so that's very nice. Um, GL, guys. Let's hope that... Uh, yes, yes, I know. When the asses are fl inflamed, then the... The preparation H is required. I get it. You need witch hazel wipes. That's what you need for that type of shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, fuck off, bitch. Oh, shit. You fucking bitch. Okay. She's focused on him. Let's get some fucking stuns in. Oh, you idiot. Shit, 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 shit. Don't go for me. Go for him. Go for him. Whoa, go for him. Gopher. Oh, yeah. Where'd she fucking go? D render yourself visible, you coward. Okay. Stun. Locked. You fucking... Biatch. Oh! Ew! Yo, dude, you need to be a little more accurate with those discs, my friend. What is this, uh, Sega Dreamcast? Those discs are, uh, not very well protected. Oh, shit. Doing the thing. Get out of the way. Oh! Okay, those crystals, uh, it's like fucking crystal meth. That shit hits hard. Woo! Okay, fuck you, you fucking bitch. Ay, 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 I can't believe this guy's still alive. Holy shit, this dude is a fucking tank. He's a power bottom. He may look thin. Oh, shit. Oh fuck, guys. We gotta kill her on our own now. <gasps> Holy shit! We did it! Woo! Yeah! 
We freed Sister Freed. Thanks, Slave Knight Gale. I, I mean, Minion Knight. I'm trying to be more PC in my life. It's it's a gradual process. It's it's not easy. When you're used to using one kind of language and you gotta reprogram your own brain for social points, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. The Dreg Heap. That sounds like a shit area. I don't know if we want to go there. Also, is that a real person in there? Nah, it's just a really well-painted statue. And a dead snake. Actually, that looks like a fake snake. Yeah, it's just pieces of wood with snake skin on it. I took the uh, the kids to uh, Tahiti one time and they were selling those, but they were overpriced. They, they're made by the locals, so you kind of want to buy them, you know, to, to kind of be nice, especially if you're white. But, uh, you know, there's there's a limit, there's a line to to things being overpriced and also being crap. Okay. Well, we're all done with the DLC, at least that one. Very cool, guys. A uh, very productive video today. I'm very pleased. You guys all get a gold star just for watching. Let's go to the shit heap just to see what it's like. The crimson parma. You take a parmesan and you uh, mix it with a tomato. And you get a crimson parma. Okay, is this the the beginning of the butthole ring city? Is that the... Okay, yeah, that's totally what this is, isn't it? The flotsam and jetsam of past souls games all shat out into one valley. Truly a sight to behold. And on that note, everyone, next to this very sad turtle man, we're going to say adieu once again. Thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And more content to come once I've fucked around enough in this area. But until then, as always, peace out, you damn liberals.